Hello, hello, welcome again. So last time we saw about agent addition to the elastic stack and today we are going to discuss about elastic integration. But please, if you have not viewed previous video, please go and view them first so that we go together in these proceedings videos. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe, please like this video so the knowledge can be shared with a lot of people. And there is our sub number for us where you can ask us questions or concerns, or even just text us so that we can add you to our own custom groups where you can have updates on what is happening in this channel and other cyber information that are relevant for you. So today we are going to talk about elastic integration. Of course, now elastic integration, as you can see them, they are here from elastic menu. Actually, these are components through which we decide which information that we want to correct from our agents. And actually, these elastic stack guys have made it possible to collect and to collect information from virtual any application or any hardware that is universally available. As you can see here in this integration, there are so many integration options that you can choose from. Like you can have for application performance metrics, you can have integration for Amazon Web Service, for Azure, for container database, and so, and so, and so, and so. So actually, whatever application that you want to correct logs or information from it, Elastic Stack has already built in integration. And we are going to see by using this integration, we will have already built in assets that you can start to use to analyze your data. For, for the essence of today's demonstration about integration, we are going to use OS Manager integration. OS Manager, no. Here we, we searched for Azure, yeah. OS Manager integration. Now, this integration is for provision so that we can be able to use OS query to our agents. Remember, we talk about the first control and the second control, which are all about application inventor and hardware inventor. So if I have a mechanism to quell our given agent so that it can tell us which application are there, which hardware configuration are there, then we are able to solve or to implement the first and the second control. That's why in this live demonstration we are going to use OS query manager for more information about it you can just visit the OS query sites that you can have a lot of information about but for today i just want to show you that we can add integration for OS query manager and start to be able now to quell our given agent to know the software that an given agent and to know the hardware setup of our given agent. So we choose the OS Query Manager integration and we can see we have the overview. What is it? And here it tells us the integration policy. If this integration has already been used with other agents, we can see it here. And of course, every integration, the good side of integration is that as long as you have added it to your agent, it comes with built in assets. That means we'll have dashboard already prepared for data that will be collected through that integration. For instance, you have used Apache integration to collect Apache log. By just incorporate that Apache integration to your given POLIS or to your given agent, automatically you are not just collecting the Apache logs, but Elastic Stack create default dashboard so that you can start analyze and view visualize your given as uh, Apache logs. And also it will have some built-in built search queries apart from the dashboard also you have already made queries that you can start to use now this is for os query manager but they differ if you are talking about apache logs then you have already built-in queries that are common for apache log analysis so here is our os query manager as we have come, as we have come from the integration menu then we click this add OS query manager because our essence here is to add this integration. Now we go to the next step. After clicking that, you specify the integration name or you can use it a default. You can put a description that what this integration is all about, but also you can leave it blank and you see it is going to work fine. The important area is here. Remember the integration are added to the police and you already talk about the police and the agents. So here you can add this integration to new created police. But for us, we already created the police that is called test police. So we are going to add this integration to our test police and automatically 
those two agents for Windows and for Linux will already have this integration in them. That's the beauty of Elastic Stack and its components. So we add it to test Poris, then we say save this Poris, and it will tell you this action will update two agents because in this test Poris, Poris, as we have seen in the previous video, the Poris has just two agents. So we tell it to save and deploy the change and we are waiting for it to process. So we have our agents there, but now we are using Frit and Elastic Stack to push what information or what management we want to do to our agents without even touching the agent by just using the Elastic Stack components. So you can see now the integration policies have been added. The first was just this policy, but now we have the test policies already added. So if we will go back to our fleet management, we come here to fleet and to view our given agent. We had Windows and Linux agent added to this test policy. So this policy is the same, whether I click here or I click here. So if we click this test policy, we can see now the given test policy now has two integration. The default integration for system log, to means now I can collect system log for whatever agent that is using this policy and the added integration that we have just done now. We have OS Query Manager. So for today, this is what I want you to show you. 